name is DJ Bonics. I came to rock this party. One. 96 One Kiss, it's Bonix with, yes, a Saturday special interview here with my lovely guest all the way from Holland. It's a lovely Esme Denters. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Esme. Esme Denters. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's good to be here. You look good. First time Thank in you. Pittsburgh? Yes, definitely. First time. Uh, how long have you been in Pittsburgh for? Um, Just arrived yesterday. Just arrived yesterday. Yeah. What are your first thoughts about our city, our lovely city over here? Um, it's very green, which I love. Uh -huh. It's awesome. Have you seen, you haven't seen much though, huh? Not really a lot. So you're going to have yet. to show me around. Oh, you heard that. <laughs> you heard it first. Um, well, all right. So let's break it down. Um, from what I heard about you, because I've heard lovely things about you, you uh, were discovered through YouTube pretty much. Yeah, that's right. And Justin Timberlake had something to do with that, huh? With that's you right. getting, so explain that whole situation <laughs> for me because... You know, I'm sure Justin Timberlake has seen a lot of videos on YouTube, but how does how does that you know equate to you uh, you know hooking up with Justin Timberlake? Well, actually, it all started. You know, I grew up in Holland, and I always wanted to become a singer, just a big dream of mine. Okay. And one day, I just discovered YouTube, and I'm like, hey, this is cool. You can post your own videos. All right. And I was like, okay, let's just post a cover and see what people think of my voice. And at first, you know, I'm not a computer genius, so okay. it was very hard for me to upload that thing. But then <laughs> in about a week time, all, I got all these comments, people saying, I love your voice. Can you sing this? Can you do that? And people just started watching me like crazy. And I that's was just, it. And that's what happened. In my home, I was just like, wow. And then um, I started posting more and more videos. Record companies started to call me in the middle of the night in, at my home and uh, sending me emails. So uh, I just decided to go over to the U.S. to meet with a bunch of labels. Okay. Because, you know, I was like, okay. My dream might actually happen now. Yeah. It's amazing. They sent you out and did all that stuff, too. They they paid for your plane ticket and said, hey. Oh, uh, yeah. There was a lot of people that were like, okay, we'll fly you over. We'll just stay at a hotel. And I'm oh. like, whoa, this is crazy. So, yeah, we did that. And then, um, actually, my management heard that Justin Timberlake was setting up his own label, Tenman okay. Records. Yeah. What's it called? And Tenman Records. Okay. Tennessee. Tenman. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um he, he was just still looking for new artists, and um, he heard about this girl that was singing Who, songs you? on YouTube. Wow. And, What's, um, <laughs> what was the first song that you sang on YouTube? The first song I sang on YouTube was uh, TLC Waterfalls. Really? Can yeah. I get a little piece of that? Can we get a little piece of Waterfalls? <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. <laughs> wow! Very nice, very nice. Thank you. So fast forward. Fast forward. You wait. Did you get to meet with Justin Timberlake? I get to meet him for the first time in Chicago. Yeah. All right. That so was first one of all, of shows. all the ladies right now are creaming themselves because every girl in the world would love to meet Justin Timberlake. What was that like? Knowing you were going to go see Justin Timberlake, you walk in the door. Oh, it was. And crazy. there he was naked. <laughs> no. no, not naked. Okay. He's wearing the leotard, like the single ladies. Uh, no. Okay, nice. I'm kidding. No, um, no, he was just uh, backstage. I, I went to one of his shows, Future Sex Love Sound Tour, so it made me even no more nervous because I got to see the show first. Okay. Oh, so this was a few years ago then? Um, it's. I think I would say it's about maybe two years, one and a half years ago. And then what What happened? What was the first thing you said to him? What happened? I just came in and introduced myself. And the the thing was, I didn't really know what to say because all of a sudden it's Justin Timberlake, boom, right, yeah. right in front of and me. And you're a huge fan, I'm sure, right? Yeah, Who I'm definitely it? a fan of his music. So I have a man crush. <laughs> I'm admitting that right now. Go ahead. All right, I'll tell him about it. I, oh, yeah, you're friends <laughs> with him. Twitter that. So um, I didn't really know what to say either. So I just noticed that there was a piano in the room. And I was like, okay, this is my one shot. I went over to the piano, started playing and singing. I was like, is it okay, Justin? Can I sing something? And then um, a month crazy. later, I was signed. And he went crazy over you. It was, it was, it was just such a weird experience for me. Amazing. Well, now is, uh, you know, you did your first performance in the U.S. recently, right? Was it Nashville? Or was yeah, it started in Nashville. How was that? Was it cool? was great. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, this is the first tour I'm doing. Um, I'm going on tour with Honor Society, so I get to go all across the U.S. And the name of your single is? It's called Out of Here. Out of Here. Yeah. And uh, when do you predict an album will come out? It's coming out early next year, so definitely watch out for that. It's called Out of Here as well. So what do you think uh, a year from now, what do you think you'll be doing? You're going to long have forgotten about me and Pittsburgh. No. Uh, but what do you think a year from now we're going to be at? A year from now, you know, I would love to have my own tour one day. That would be amazing. Just just to, you know, 
sing see people sing your songs and have them come out especially to see you you know it's just i've i've been on the neo show the justin timberlake show the enrique iglesias show and you just see how powerful and how beautiful just watching those shows and seeing the vibes of the people it's just incredible incredible all right so you know little little becky pittsburgh is listening right now and she's 10 years old and uh you know she has dreams of becoming the biggest star in the world uh this is uh your chance this is your fortune cookie. What do you have to tell little Becky Pittsburgh and how she can attain her dreams? What are your words of wisdom as me? Um, I would just say just go for it and don't let anybody discourage you because I've did auditions and people said that I sucked, but you know, you never know what is going to get you to that place. So just try different things and YouTube worked for me, but doesn't, necessarily mean that it works for everybody so just try different things you know the internet is of course great because you get to reach a lot of people all around the world so just do what you got to do do auditions and get yourself on myspace make start writing songs and yeah start getting yourself out there you have a show tonight at diesel with the honor society yeah um what can we expect from you at the show a lot of high energy i've got an incredible band behind me and we're just gonna rock it and you're about to do a little song for us too as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Very nice. SME Dancers in Pittsburgh, PA. Congratulations yes. on everything. And, uh, you know, you can call me later tonight if you want to hang out. <laughs> All right. All right. Ooh, thank you.